Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to those on the phone as well as uh, joining us live, Facebook Live and all streaming platforms. Praise the Lord. Uh, before we go into the word, um, we will be uh, muting the phones. Amen. And we truly appreciate you all for joining us via live as well. Amen. Glory to God. Muted. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you all for again joining us via Facebook Live as well as on the phone here. Today's message is going to be on grace equals time. Grace equals time. Amen. Grace equals time. Um, and, amen. Yes, indeed. Grace equals time. Grace equals time. So with... Amen, amen, amen. So today's message again, for those that didn't hear me, uh, the message is going to be on grace equals time. Grace equals time. During the days and times we're living in right now, we really should be appreciated uh, appreciative of the grace that God has still given us in the land of the living. Amen. Because during this time, um, that's all we have is, is time right now. Uh, if we're not where we're supposed to be in God, in his spirit, uh, then we need to utilize the grace, which equals the time that he has given us to be able to be exactly where we need to be with him. Amen. Good morning to all those, again, watching and all those on the phone lines right now. But when you look at um, outside your door in the days you're living in right now, and as you look and watch all across the world, you can see that the time is now. 
the time is now to make sure the foundation of your homes are in order to make sure the foundation of self is in order most importantly because at the end of the day you have to save yourself scripturally you have to save yourself amen because what, what, what does the scripture teach us work out your own salvation with fear and trembling work out your own salvation so we can be that that pinnacle and that 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 light for those in our families as well as in the world only to an extent to how God uses us we can't go beyond the Lord's will because it's his will that he uses us only to a certain extent because he's not going to uh, push us to drag people unto him he leaves it up to the individual to make the choice do you want to serve the living god or do you want to continue to serve the world and everything in it so grace equals time grace equals time in the scriptures family we're, we're going to be touching on uh, some of the commandments God has given us because with these commandments equals obedience if the human being the person acknowledges it but if the individual doesn't even acknowledge the commandment not just talking about any law but the law that was given unto man by God himself if we can't even acknowledge you know those commandments <clears throat> or the basic things God has given us how can we utilize the time that he has given us amen so in scripture to start off family I'm gonna touch on um, a few of the commandments God has left here for us amen uh, in Deuteronomy chapter 5 verses 6 through 22 I'm not gonna go through the entire uh, scriptures but I'm going to point out that here God is with Moses in the midst of the fire of the cloud and the thick of the darkness it says in the scripture as you read down a great voice he added no more and he wrote them in two tables of stone and delivered them unto me me being Moses Moses is letting us know that while he was on the mount, uh, God appeared to him and spoke to him directly. It wasn't, you know, no one in between at that point of time. This is before Jesus. Amen. So God was speaking to Moses directly and let the people know this. I'm going to read a uh, matter of fact, we're going to read uh, the first 10 because there are many statues and laws. Um that coincide with the with the word of God from the beginning to everything man had did God to tell him not to do and for the for the believers that know when God tells us not to do something and his word comes out we should have good enough sense to know that that is a law and a decree that our king has made anything that the king speaks out of his mouth and say is a decree amen we we are well knowledgeable of that when it comes to our prime ministers uh the kings of the land in the past here on earth as well as our presidents and different things anything that they want done they speak it out of their mouth and then it is notated and written as a decree and put into law but when moses received these um from god it started off by saying thou shalt have no other gods before me now God put this forth. this one of these first commandments God put this forth. thou shalt not have any other gods before me because the people of God us as the people of God we tend to lean to our own understanding and humanly take advantage of the things of the earth that God has created and then we will turn around and create a idol out of the same things he has given us we in the past you have people worshiping the grass 
or worshiping the dog, worshiping the cat, or worshiping your cars or your jobs or your different things. Any things that we take into um, a liking and become to make it a lifestyle built it around your everyday way of living is considered an idol unto God. And he, he let us know in the very beginning, thou shall not create, thou shall not have any other gods before me. So any other time that we do this, we are putting these things before God. Amen. And another thing he gave, he gave, he spoke unto Moses to write down. He said, tell him this. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. Meaning, see, this is what the people of God for ages had a problem with. God spoke this even then because, okay, we heard from God. Moses, you heard from God. Let us draw a picture of him. Let us draw a silhouette of him. Let us draw what we believe he looked like. Amen. All these pictures across the land that's been uh, printed out, it's been sketched, been painted uh, for ages and years of Jesus, our most high God, are all in error. Are all in error. Let's let's sit, let's sit and have you uh, ponder. Not you don't need to ponder on it. it, it it's a fact. Because when you read, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images, you, you already know that, well, he's talking about pain, paintings, pictures, sketches, doodles, not alone, uh, statues, crosses, everything else. We worship the unseen God. And w common sense, if you're living in the days of today and you've been a study of uh, geography and history, any person with the right mind would know if they still try to deny it that uh, in the days of the old where life started, it started in the continent of Africa, Northeast Africa, where Israel is located as well. So common sense would tell you that uh, everything over there has some melanin in it. But that's not the case. See, God didn't even want you to focus on that. Because remember, he's the unseen God. He's a spirit. He didn't even really want you to focus on that because that still will cause confusion in the land. And that's why the main reason he put out, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images because he knows as soon as you do, you're going to take it and cause confusion in the land. He also spoke to Moses that, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy amen he said remember the sabbath day and keep it holy now many of us take uh take this lightly when god had created for six days created and labor for six days he made sure he get he gave us the example to take time to rest take time to uh Focus on the things of God. Rejuvenate yourself in me in spirit. Don't just keep going and going and going for the world. And then you totally leave me out uh, of your day. Not alone trying to rest the body I have given you. At the same time, we're supposed to be giving honor and praise to the Most High God on a daily basis. So as we're going through our laboring days god will make them easy for us but if we're just trying to acknowledge him on one day and even on that one day we don't we we not resting we not getting in our word we not restoring our spirit that he has put in us then we're we're not benefiting from the day of the sabbath amen and the lord our god also spoken to moses and says honor thy father and thy mother God also put this in scripture and said that when you honor thy father, thy mother, your days will be long, meaning your life will be a long life, meaning he will add more years to your life. Despite how your mother or father may have been in the past, 
despite what they didn't have to be able to give you, God still wants us to honor our father and our mother so our days, amen, so our days can be long on the earth. He didn't say uh, honor thy father and thy mother if they are good to you or honor thy father and thy mother if they are able to give you uh, the things that you want to be given to you. He didn't say that because he knew some mothers and fathers are going to be absent of some things. They're going to lack certain things. They're going to, some of them are not going to know how to love. But when you come into God and you know that God still wants us to be of service and to be a representation of him, he says, love them despite of. So the days of your life can be long. Amen. To, to cap it off here, thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet. So God gave us these. Now, these are just the ten. But from the beginning, beginning of time, God was telling people, you, you don't need to be eating no dogs. You don't need to be eating no animals with blood in them and different things. Because this is how we, the people of God, the human beings, were walking around on the earth doing crazy and the bottom of things. Just doing ridiculous things. So God had to create other laws and statutes. And it's about 613 of them. But every time God speaks something, it, it is law. It is what it is. And there's no going back against it. And people are saying, well, why bring up this when you say grace equals time? Because in the beginning, amen, in the beginning, there was God and it, there was the time. So, but until we came about, amen, and started to defile ourselves and defile ourselves within the earth, God had to give us laws and statutes and commandments to help get us in order, help, uh, help give us time, amen? help give us time to get in order so him giving us these commandments is allowing us to is buying us time amen to get to correct what he seen what we were doing in the land especially what we're doing right now in the land of today god is still telling us look at the laws and statutes that i have given you correct yourself in them but if you love me, let's like say the greatest commandment is love God with all your heart. But if we love him, we automatically will fall in line with all these other commandments. But the simplest, it may sound simple because it's easy to speak and to say. But to really love this unseen God that say you, you can't see on a daily basis or you ain't never seen. God says you. You, 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 you say you love me, but you hate your brother, your physical brother that you see every day. But God is a God of uh, how can you hate them and love me whom you never seen? So God is a God of give, use the time that I've given you. Use the time. Correct. Take the, the commandments and correct yourself. Utilize them to correct yourself. Because they are here to give you time. To give you, we don't borrow time, amen? We don't borrow time. We cannot just ignore the commandments and the laws and statutes God has put here on the earth. But if we love him with all our heart and in spirit and follow him, we automatically will fall and be obedient to every law statute that, that was ever spoken by him. But if we just speak it out of our mouth, like scripture teaches us, you love me with your mouth, but in your heart you are far from me. Scripture teaches us that. If we don't actually love God from the heart, in our spirit, and follow him, as Peter said, follow me as I follow Christ. If we don't actually follow him and walk with him, amen. If we don't walk with him for real, then the time, the grace that he has given us in the time will be the judge of us. We will be the judgment of our own selves because we didn't tap into the time that was given. 
We didn't tap into the grace that was given. We didn't tap and utilize the commandments that was given. All these things that were given, in us, given unto us was given us time to get ourselves, our foundations of ourselves, and also help get the foundation of our families in order. But you see, as men and women on the earth, we can't take the laws that God has given us and water them down. We can't take from it or add to it. What God has given us is more than enough. It's more than enough. Amen. So I want to thank each and every person watching live right now and each and every person filled with the Holy Ghost on the phone right now. If you yourself as an individual haven't received God the Spirit as you should, being that you've been on this earth, it don't matter how many years, today is the day that you need to choose. He, he said in scripture, I, I put before you blessings and curses, life and death, but he gives us the answer. He says, choose life. So choose this day whom you may serve. Choose this day life. And life, by you choosing life, you are choosing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because only through him, we are redeemed back unto God. Only through him. No matter what the world is trying to tell you or trying to teach you. Only through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we are redeemed. So choose this day, life. And by choosing that, you have chosen to serve Jesus Christ. You can reach out to us, send us a message here on the Mount Olive uh, page. Send us a message. Send this video to your brothers and sisters. Have them choose. Don't You can't force them. But send them this message so they know that the time is now, that the grace is pending, and this day we need to choose. Amen. Let us pray, family. Father God, in the mighty name of Christ Jesus, we thank you on this day, Lord, this beautiful day that you have blessed us to be able to be a living, to be able to live in it right now, Lord, to be of the living in the land of the living. We thank you, Father, for keeping us from harm of storms and disasters, Lord, and pandemics, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for being the ultimate healer of all things, Lord. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that's instilled in us to keep us going, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for the elders, Lord. We thank you for our, our pastor and our first lady, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for continuing to guide us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for protecting our children on their going out and coming in, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for being our vaccine in a time of pandemics, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, continue to allow your Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Amen, family. Amen. And again, thank you all for watching live. And thank you all uh, on the phone here. We will continue our... Um, conversations on the phone here with our church family but for those watching live y'all continue to have a blessed and prosperous day in jesus name amen